Loose lay the chem curve components around the entire perimeter of the penetration, making sure there is at least one inch of clearance between the penetration and the inside wall of the chem curve. If necessary, the outside base perimeter can be outlined to assist the installation of the chem curve sections. It is extremely important to make sure the surface of the roof is free of dirt, rust, loose coatings, or any other potential bond breaking materials. If necessary, remove all contaminants with a wire brush and make sure the roof surface is clean. To ensure proper bonding of the roof penetration, it is required to put a thin skin coat of M1 structural sealant around the entire circumference of the penetration and seal around the base. This serves as a primer coat and acts as an additional seal. The skin coat shall extend from the base up the penetration a minimum of three inches, which is one inch higher than the chem curb. This enables consultants and other roof inspectors to verify the primer skin coat was applied. It is very important never to use asphalt primer to prime the penetrations. Asphalt or concrete primer acts as a bond breaker. After the surfaces have been prepared, the chem curb can now be installed. Take the first section and apply a quarter inch bead of M1 structural sealant around the entire bottom perimeter and a bead down the center. Position the section in place and press the component section down firmly spreading the sealant beads on the bottom of the flange. Follow the same procedure for the remaining sections, making sure to press the flange down firmly against the roof surface. Apply a bead of M1 structural sealant around the entire outside base perimeter, including the vertical fitting joint, making sure to seal all voids. Hand tool the sealant bead with a wooden tooling stick that is provided making a clean and neat seal. Now that the chem curb has been installed, it is ready to be filled with portable sealer. Since this roof has a very low positive slope, a chem link self-leveling sealer can be used to fill the large chem curb. When installing large rectangular or, or oval chem curbs, it is recommended to allow the assembled chem curb to cure for one hour to allow the M1 structural sealant to gain strength before filling the chem curb. This is due to the hydrostatic pressure of the liquid pourable sealer. The most efficient use of time is to assemble a few large chem curbs and then when completed drop back and fill them later. Standard round chem curbs can be filled immediately. One part pourable sealer is being used to fill this chem curb. This pourable sealer offers the following features and benefits. Single component saves mixing labor. It's 100% solvent free and cannot shrink. It's odor free, it's very flexible, cannot freeze, it eliminates mixing and human error, and unused portions and containers can be sealed and reused, eliminating waste. One part pourable sealer is available in half gallon foil pouches, 28 ounce and 10.1 ounce plastic cartridges. A chem curb filled with one part pourable sealer is immediately watertight. A skin forms on the surface in less than one hour. Do not apply one part pourable sealer if rain is imminent. Full curing takes place approximately 10 to 45 days depending on temperature and humidity. Round chem curbs are available in 5 inch and 7 and a half inch diameters. These are complemented with 2 inch rounded corners and 6 inch and 12 inch straight sections. Rectangular chem curbs and e-curbs of any size can be fabricated right on the roof by installing the appropriate number of straight sections between the rounded corner sections. Large ovals can be made by adding straight sections between any of the half sections of the rounded chem curbs or E-curbs. There are no size restrictions associated with E-curbs or chem curbs.